Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Design with Ruzbe. Continuing with CSWA practice problems, today we'll work on question 4.10. Let's take a look at this question. So in this question, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. Like always, we need to ensure we are using the same unit of measurement in solid work setting. Now, looking at this question, we can see that we have a symmetric geometry. We have the 3D model, we have the top view, front view, and right view. My preference is to focus on the front view. I'm going to make a 2D sketch of the front view, only half of that, because it's a symmetric geometry, I can simply use mirror command to make the full geometry. And at the end, I'm going to focus on small features like these holes. So with this introduction, let's jump into SOLIDWORKS and start modeling this part. In SOLIDWORKS, first thing first, we need to check unit of measurement. And you can see that we have millimeter gram second as a unit of measurement. So this is a correct unit of measurement. Now, as I mentioned, I want to start with the front view. So let's click on the sketch, click on the sketch command, and I choose front view. Because this is a symmetric geometry, I click on line command, I click on center line, and then here I'm going to make a symmetry line. Now, as I mentioned, we want to start with a rough 2D sketch of the front view. So what I can do, I can click on arc command, and then here I'm going to make an arc shape, something like this. Then I can click on line command, and then starting from this point, I go to down, I go right, then slide on the angle, then going up, going to right, up, left, and down. Okay? So this is a rough 2D sketch. Now, in order to make this fully defined, we need to add some dimensions. So let's add dimensions. First, looking at the front view, we know the radius of the curve. So let's click on the smart dimension, and this radius is 23 millimeter. Also, looking at the front view, we know that the height of this line should be 6 millimeter. Looking at the front view, you can see the length of the bottom line. You can see the full length is 26 millimeter. Because we are only modeling half of that, this should be 26 divided by 2, which is 13 millimeters. 26 divided by 2. The angle between this line and horizontal line is 45 degree. What you can do, you can click on this line, you can click on a starting point, and SOLIDWORKS shows you four arrows. Simply choose the horizontal arrow, and now you can select and add 45 degree dimension. The distance between this line and the symmetric line on the other side is 65 millimeter. So as I mentioned in a previous video, you have two options. First one is to simply click on this line, click on this line, and then add half of the dimension here. Or the simplest way is to simply go to the left side of the symmetry line and SOLIDWORKS automatically shows you the distance between these two lines, the first one and the symmetry one. So click on it and then choose 65 millimeter. Now looking at the top view, you can see the overall width of the geometry, which is 110. So I can click on this line and then SOLIDWORKS automatically shows the distance from right to left. We want this to be 110. Click on it and this should be 110. The overall height of the geometry, you can find that number from the right view. If you look at the right view, you can see that from top to bottom, we have 52 millimeter distance. So click on the smart dimension, click on this line, click on a bottom line, and this should be 52. Also, you can see from the front view that the distance between this line and the center point of the arc, this distance should be 16 millimeter. Awesome. So now, if you look at this geometry, the geometry is shown with the black color, which means that we have a fully defined sketch here. So now everything is ready to use extruded bus feature and make the 3D model. So let's click on feature, click on extrude bus, and then here we can extrude this part. Because this is a symmetric geometry, I prefer to keep this one on a mid plane. Also looking at the right view, you can see that the overall thickness of the geometry is 39 millimeters. So I simply change 10 millimeter to 39, click on OK, and that's it. 
So that's half of the geometry that we modeled. Now, in order to make the final geometry, like the overall geometry, you can simply go to Feature tab and then choose Mirror Command. For the mirror face, I select this face. Then you can click on Bodies to Mirror. And then here I select the main body and you can see the preview. Click on OK and that's it. That's the final model. Last step is to model the holes in the geometry. Again, because it's a symmetric geometry, I'm going to take advantage of mirror command. So I'm going to only model one hole. So let's click on the sketch, click on the sketch and choose this surface. Because it's a symmetric geometry, let's click on line command, center line, and then here I'm going to have one symmetry line. And then this is the second one. Click on circle command and then here I make a circle. Click on a smart dimension. The diameter of this circle should be 8 mm. The distance between center point of this circle and center point of the circle on the right side should be 80. So I click on symmetry line and then SolidWorks shows me that distance. So this should be 80. Same thing. The distance between center point of this line and the symmetry line on the other side this should be 19 millimeter. Now you can see that we have a fully defined circle. Everything is ready to use extruded cut feature. Click on feature, click on extrude cut, and then here you can cut the geometry. Click on OK, and that's it. So now this is a hole in a geometry. In order to mirror this hole, you can click on feature and then mirror command. And then here, I want to do everything at once. So you have the option to choose two plane. For the first plane, click on drop down menu and I choose front plane. So this is a first symmetry plane. For the secondary plane, I choose the right plane. So these are two symmetry planes. And here, I don't want to choose the body, it's a feature basically. So click on feature to mirror and from the drop down menu, choose extrude cut. And you can see the preview now. Click on OK and that's it. So now we have everything modeled in this ge geometry. Okay, so now it's time to check the total volume and make sure that this is actually the correct model. So let's go back to the question and check the total volume. In the question, you can see that total volume is 65,203 cubic millimeters. Let's go back to solid work model and then check the total volume. In SOLIDWORKS, in order to check the total volume, you can click on Evaluate and then Mass Properties. And then here you can see the total volume. The total volume for the model is 65,202 cubic millimeters. If you round up this number, you're going to get exactly the same answer as shown in the question. This is showing that our model is correct and there's no problem with it. Okay, awesome. I think that's a wrap for this video. This was a quick video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you have any comments or feedback, please leave comments down below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruzbe. Hope to see you again soon in the next videos.